Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on creating forms in Django. In this tutorial, we will learn to create a Django form, create views to handle form submission. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 16.04 operating system, Python 3.5, Python 3.4-VENV or IA, Gedit Text Editor, and Firefox Web Browser. To follow this tutorial, you need to know how to create models and HTML templates in Django. If not, then please go through the prerequisite tutorials in this website. Forms are used to get data from the user. The data is processed on the server side. Users can provide the data using form elements like text fields, options, etc. Django has inbuilt libraries that build forms easily. Let us open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously on the keyboard. Now, using cd command, go to the folder my iPhone Django which we created earlier. Activate the virtual environment my app underscore env. Then, go to the my site folder using cd command. Here onwards, please remember to press the enter key after typing each command. Let us now create a form in Django using models. To do so, create a file forms.py in the blog directory. Type the command as shown. We are now in forms.py file. Type the code as shown here. Django provides a class model form to create a form from a model. The form is generated using the model definition. To provide data to the form class, we are using an inner class, meta. We are assigning the blog model which is used to generate form. In meta class, fields attribute is used to select the fields to use in the form. Similarly, we have defined an inner class named meta with fields for the article form. Here, we have imported our models, blog and article. To create Django forms, we need to import forms from Django. Now, we have defined Django form using models. Save the file. Switch back to the terminal to create a template file to call our Django form. Create a HTML file, add underscore blog in templates directory. Type the command as shown. We are now in add underscore blog dot HTML. Type the code as shown here. CSRF cross site request forgery protection. We have to use the CSRF underscore token tag in a template which uses the form post request. Django provides built-in CSRF protection to protect the server from malicious websites. Here we have included our context variable to display our Django form. Here we have created a button to submit the form. We have created a HTML template to use a form passed through context. Save the file. Switch to the terminal. Open the file views.py to use this template. Type the command as shown. We are now in views.py file. Type the code as shown. Import the blog form and article form. 
update the get underscore blocks function next to the get underscore blocks function let us add add underscore block function type the code as shown here here we have modified the get underscore blocks function to get blog objects also we have defined a function add underscore blog if this is a post request we need to process the form data we have created an instance of the blog form class object using the data from the post request all the fields from the form are in request.post we have imported the blog form from our blocks form next is underscore valid method is used to check whether the entered data is valid or not if the data is valid then is underscore valid function returns true otherwise it returns false in the else statement when the data is empty or invalid it will return the form with errors when the form data is valid we save a new blog object from the form after successful addition of the blog let's return something so the return statement returns http response with the string blog created if the request is get underscore request then this will be executed an empty form instance of blog form is created then the form instance is added to context this context will be provided to the html template while rendering this is what will happen when a form is submitted using a post request a form instance is created and data from the request is populated with it this is called binding data to the form it is now a bound form here we can see that the necessary modules have already been imported we have added a function in our views to add blog with use of form data save the file switch to the terminal now we will insert the path in the url configuration type the command as shown we are now in urls.py file in blog app insert the new path as shown here we have added the path in blog app urls and there are no changes in the root urls save the file switch to the terminal for our convenience let us run the django server in a separate terminal press shift control and t keys simultaneously in the new terminal tab go to the my iphone django directory using the cd command now activate the virtual environment now go to the my site folder using cd command start the server now we will call the view function add underscore blog open the web browser and type the url as shown and press enter here we see a form with a labeled text name along with the input text box and a submit button let us first try with some invalid data in the text box enter spaces by pressing space key multiple times click on the add blog button to save here we see an error message this field is required so the blog is not created with invalid data in this way 
we can handle the invalid data. We check if the form is valid or not and handle the request accordingly. Now let us type my blog in the text box. Click on the add blog button to save the blog. Now after submission we get the response as blog created. Let us now move to our views.py file to edit the existing blog. Modify the function add underscore blog in the views.py file as shown here. Pause the tutorial and update the code as shown. When id matches with blog id, get function returns the corresponding blog object. In the else statement, an unbound instance of the blog is created. When the form validation is done, the changes are saved. Return statement contains our view function get underscore blocks. The view function get underscore blocks is used to get the blog objects that we have created. Here we create a form instance blog form. Instance equal to blog will initialize the values of the form fields. These values are provided by the blog object. Here we set the context variable as form and blog. Blog is the context variable that contains blog objects as key value. Save the file. Now switch to the add underscore blog.html file under templates. Replace the code as shown here. Inform action include the reference path to the existing blog object. So now we can edit our existing blog object using id. Save the file. Switch to the urls.py file in the blog directory to include the path. Add a new url path as shown here. Here we have included add underscore blog path with int blog underscore id. So that we can edit the existing blog object using blog id. The two url paths add blog and edit blog are different but handled by the same view function. Save the file. Let us now edit blogs.html to add new url redirect. Switch to the first terminal. Type the command as shown. Update the code as shown here. Here we have added the link that redirect to edit existing blog. Blog.name will display the particular blog object that matches with its blog id. If there is no blocks available, else statement returns no blocks are available. Save the file. We have now set everything to edit the existing blog title. Now. Switch to the browser. In the address bar, type the URL as shown and press enter. Here we see the blocks which we have created earlier in this series with an edit option. Blog models which we have created in this tutorial are also available. Beside blog name my blog, click on edit. It will redirect to the edit form page. Now change the blog name into newly edited blog. Then click on the submit button. We see the blog name has been changed from my blog to newly edited blog. This is how we create and edit a blog using Django form. Switch to the second terminal. Stop the server and deactivate the virtual environment. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize.
In this tutorial, we have learned to create a Django form, create views to handle form submission. As an assignment, create and edit article using Django form. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Please post your general or technical questions in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. The script has been contributed by Tyagarajar College of Engineering and the FOSI Project IIT Bombay. The video has been recorded by Praveen from Spoken Tutorial Project IIT Bombay. Thanks for joining.